what is up agents, Patrick Wolf here. Today's video is going to be a build video. Now, this is a build video that will be very, very good to use in Title Update 5. The reason why I'm bringing this out now and not when our Title Update 5 drops is because we know that whatever I'm going to be using in this is the way to mitigate skills. That is the way to counter skills and to stop them from maybe potentially one-shotting you. Uh, we are going to have to see when Title Update 5 releases, but I know that this will work and this is the way that we are going to have to mitigate the skills to defend ourselves against one-shot Seeker Mines per se. So without further ado, let's get into this video. This is the skill protection build. This is a build that you use if you guys want to PvP and you don't want to get one-shotted by Bombardier Drones or Seeker Mines, things like that. And this revolves around hazard protection. That is what is going to be used to mitigate skills in Title Update 5. And we all know that it's that mitigates uh, fire, explosive damage, anything like that. Um, any kind of exotic damage. So we're going we're gonna to be stacking it for it. And hopefully we can survive maybe a massive uh, damage rolled skill power build Seeker Mine. So we're going to have to wait and see. But I'm pretty confident that this will be able to tank it. Uh, because in the PTS I did do some testing and the PTS is one thing and the live game is another so that is why there are no other builds I'm putting out except for this because I want you guys to start buying things from the vendor because there are hazard protection roles in the vendor now and you guys need to start getting the right gear together for it because you don't want to be caught uh, with your pants down when you start getting one shot by seeker mines oh no I don't have a, a protection build what am I going to do so that's why I'm bringing this out right now so Specializations, the first thing we need to talk about, which one are we going to use? This is a bit more complicated than normal, guys, I'm not going to lie. Uh, personally, I'm going to go with the gunner because I like the perks of the gunner. And the reason being is that OP medkit, 150% bonus armor. Now, another thing to consider is if you guys aren't really good at, at well, handing your weapon, this gives you 20% weapon handing whilst not moving for just a second. So it's really nice to use. But... Like I said, this is the only real reason I use this is because of the medkit. Now, I would say personally, if you guys really don't care about that and you don't really need the medkit or things like that, you would probably want to go for the demolitionist. Now, the reason being is you can actually ignore explosions every 60 seconds. So that might sound like a little bit, but you never know. That might save you. 60 seconds is not a long time, especially if someone, if someone drops a seeker mine and you ignore it. And then you have a chance to kill him now. So I think that's the whole point. You know, even if he does have a 10 second cooldown seeker mine, at least it gives you a few seconds to kill him. So I think this would probably be the best option for this build. But then again, it's up to you guys. Maybe you want to use a rifle, for example, and use sharpshooter. Like I say before, I'm just giving you guys ideas. So let's get into this actual build. As you guys can see, now I do have the Eagle Bear, but don't worry about that. You guys use whatever good assault rifle you want or if you want to use an LMG you can go for that I'm hitting 23.6k so I'm hitting I'm hitting really hard with this build now why do I have an aces and eights mask so the whole concept around this build is to disrupt the, the player's skills so he cannot one shot you or his maybe his drone is doing a lot of assault damage with a with the gun maybe it's ripping you to shreds you want to be able to EMP him or maybe use the talent on the knee pads, which we have, to get rid of it completely when you, your armor gets depleted. So that is the whole point of this build, is to try and get utility to defend against the possible skill meta that might be incoming in Title Update 5. So the reason why I've got this mask on is because I didn't want to just re-roll a whole bunch of my good gear, because I just want to give you guys ideas. You can go ahead and change it to have whatever suits you. 48% hazard protection. That's what we want on the masks. Now, there are key parts of the build you can roll has a protection on. Now, I don't know if we're going to need 150% or 50%. We don't know yet, but you want to at least stack 80%, I would say, guys, to be to be, to be be on the safe side. Because hazard protection, with this build, you can tank ridiculous amounts of damage from uh, Lucy as well. Lucy doesn't even do damage to you with the sniper or the uh, grenades so it hardly affects you with this build it's really really good for things like that even if you i mean this build can be used now if you got it we don't really have missions where it's, there's just explosions per se but you can tank a lot with this hazard protection really mitigates every kind of exotic damage so it's a really nice attribute that you guys must not overlook in the general building of your builds as well so we've got 48 percent on the mask now you guys can roll 
it on the mask, the gloves, and the chest piece. Those are the places where you want to get it rolled. Now, I haven't gone for my chest piece because I have gone for this beautiful two set of 30% total armor and 10.5% weapon damage with Bloodsucker. Now, Bloodsucker is perfect for PvP. If you want to be depleting your enemies, you're going to be hitting your shots with an AR especially. That's why I use an AR for this build because you can hit all your shots and stack additional armor on top. So using Unbreakable could save you if you're not aware of the player, but if you can stack a lot more armor, you can constantly do it. And it just really works, especially face trading other DPS players. So that's why I've gone for this now. I didn't roll Hazard Protection because I wanted to make my character do more damage for one, and two, to be a bit more tankier. So you guys can go the full on with this. You can get your Hazard Protection to up to 160%. So that you guys can do that if you want. Then on the holster, I have gone for Armor on kill and health. Now, the reason why I have a Gila Guard here, a Gila Guard, Gila Guard, I actually, I actually don't care how to pronounce it, it doesn't bother me. And the whole point of this gear set is 20% hazard protection. So that is why we need the two piece. Now, I could have potentially gone for this right here, guys. So this would give me 15% headshot damage and an additional 10% weapon damage for my assault rifle. The reason why I haven't gone for that is because I wanted the extra 20% hazard protection with the way my build, uh, you know, the attributes on my build are running. I wanted to run this. And the nice thing about this is I have 5% assault rifle damage on both mods. So we've got five, five. So I'm actually, well, I, I could put a five here. I do have another five. So that'll be 10% at least we're getting back. So it definitely does help. And the whole point is hazard protection. So that's why I went for that and not for precise, for example. But you guys can do that if you want. Like I said before, we're not, I'm not too sure exactly how much hazard protection we're going to need, but you need to stack a lot of it. That's for sure. Then on the backpack, this is also very important. You need to keep, uh, pay attention to, to this, guys. So we've got health and health. Now, the reason why I've got this, it's a 450 gear score because I wanted to demonstrate the ideal roles which you would want. So you would want to get your health up to 100k. That's what I would recommend because Bloodsucker is going to be stacking your armor. So we don't need to have too much high armor. 250k armor, 100k health, you're good to go. Skill power could be a bit more, to be honest. But it is what it is right now with the roles I have. And now these are the two turns I wanted to show you. That's why I've got a gear score 450 efficient and insulated insulated the reason why we've gone for that is just to give us a little bit of an extra boost uh, you could probably roll something that would help you a bit more probably something like hardened to give you 10 percent extra armor but we don't need it right now so that's why i've gone for that efficient is a must use if you guys are not using unbreakable because it basically gives you double the med kits and and the thing is, is you get, we probably get more because it, it lowers the chance to, well it increases your chance of not actually consuming it by 50 percent so you could have potentially 20 med kits in a fight so it's really strong especially stacking it with the specialization gunner that gives you that 150 percent armor so that's why i use gunner with this as well there's another reason because of efficient it's a very very nice talent and i really really recommend it for this build it's going to be really good if you get smacked with a seeker mine that and it almost one taps you at least you can heal up very quickly and possibly not even use the med kit so that's the whole point is to survive this Hopefully not one shot meta that might be incoming. So this is what we've got here. I've got a nicely rolled gloves here, a pair of gloves. Beautiful. I'm going to use this in TU5 definitely. This is the Murakami. It gives me the 10% hazard protection again, plus 30% on the gloves. So you guys can roll on the gloves here. That's a nice roll for me. 3% assault rifle damage. It could be higher, but it's nice. And precise, 15% headshot damage. Very, very nice for me. I love it. Definitely stack headshot damage, especially with a gun like the Eagle Bear if you do have it. The accuracy goes up to 100%. I'm not even going to tell you guys how strong this gun is. If you get this gun, it changes your whole outlook on the game. It, it opens up so many build options because the way the magazine size, 61 bullets, you can just absolutely destroy everything. It really makes the game funner, so I recommend you guys to try and get this. And that, again, brings me to making another character. Go and build another character up so you get double the chance of getting the Eagle Bearer every week. So definitely do that, guys. This is another important piece of the build. Now, this is going to help us uh, completely disrupt the enemy's, well, skills completely. So I've got, this is part of the Eula God. This gives me, uh, has a protection, 20%. Health is what you want, like I said previously, and then cloaked. So whenever your armor is actually depleted, nearby enemy skills are disrupted for 10 whole seconds. Can occur every 30 seconds. This is going to be great. This will allow us to completely disrupt them. 
and that's a long time 10 seconds that's enough time for you to get the kill because you'll probably find they'll be quite squishy but maybe they got crazy heals but you should be able to hit your headshots using all the damage that you have on this build because you do have a decent amount of damage with that five firearms so definitely go for this it's perfect for this build i really really recommend getting cloaked there is one now in the base of operations i think in the clan vendor level 30 somewhere else maybe so double check on my vendor reset i do those every single week so just have a look at that guys so yeah this build is going to be very very strong and i've i've picked through all these pieces very very carefully so let's have a look at my main stats uh, you guys can run whatever pistol you want and sidearm that's not there's no point in getting too much detail. I like to snipe people from longer ranges, and that's the ideal weapon because this M700 does 134 damage, which is crazy for a gun that isn't min-maxed or hasn't even been worked upon. It's not even a headshot build or, or a marksman rifle build in itself. So range is good. Allegro is not great. It would have gone for something like accurate. I like I like extra accuracy with marksman rifles. All right, so let's go for the stats now. But before that, we're going to go over this right here so guys you need to make sure you have this jammer pulse this is very important for this build as we are going to completely take away hostile electronics so if a guy's got like a turret down and it's ripping through you you can just pop this it takes a turret away completely there you go you have extra time as well not just cloaked and not not just this pulse but you have other ways as well so it's just it's a stacking of ways to mitigate skills so this just really complements the build a lot so make sure you run this to make the build complete then we just have a chem launcher just to give us a bit extra healing so you guys need to make sure this is modded use an auxiliary battery very important and i've, I've actually got 48 percent heal it's not active so i'm probably gonna have to change it now Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of... That's why I said previously, skill power is quite important to have a bit of it in any kind of build. So you guys can maybe get something else. I got a 58% heal, which I will be using later on. But try get try get as, as much of the healing mods as you can. It really does help. Unfortunately, I don't have that right now. So there's a few things I can work on on this build. So let's have a look at the stats. Everything's active. Vindictive, don't worry about that. I think that's on my pistol. Weapon damage, 23.5. That's crazy. 750 RPM with the Eagle Barrow set, that's very nice. Crit chance, 12%, that's actually not bad. 70% headshot damage, you're going to be doing a lot of damage with this build. All weapon damage bonus, 13%. 27% assault rifle damage bonus, very, very nice. Health damage, 29 And then this is where it gets very important, guys, so pay attention. So, on the defensive side, we have got 118% hazard protection. This should be enough to defend against any one-shot seeker mine or any bombardier drone, things like that. So we're going to have to see to double check, but this is how you want to run a build in TU5 if you want to go against the meta of the skills. So I just wanted to put this video out there for you guys to show you how to build in my in my eyes. This is my opinion. So just take it with a grain of salt, guys. So you can see the build. You, you can I explained how it works. We want to be able to use our med kits, uh, be, do max hazard protection. Uh, we want to have max hazard protection, bloodsucker to get our armor up while having a decent amount of health, while doing a lot of damage using cloaked and the EMP pulse to disrupt their skills completely so anyways that is the build guys i really hope you enjoyed this video just a quick demonstration before tu5 comes out make sure to try and get this build or get the stats required that your tributes and anyways guys thank you for watching please leave a like subscribe and i will see you agents in the next video peace out boys